You know, the biggest step that NFL players take in the arc of their career is that step from being a rookie to being a sophomore, being a second-year player. Alec Pierce is about to take that step. And as he takes that step, if he can play at a high level and he can kind of connect with Anthony Richardson and get on the same page, this offense has a chance to be really, really productive together. They have an opportunity to get explosive. Alec Pierce talked about that. What's up, man? What's up? A little different for you this summer than last summer, right? Yeah, very uh, different. What, what specifically? How's it different for you, and how's that helped you kind of make things? Yeah, it's uh, just being a lot more comfortable with uh, the playbook, um, even though you know it's a little bit different. But being a lot more comfortable with being in the NFL, and kind of understand the schedule. Uh, what's going to happen each day, and just you know, knowing how to attack each day and each week. Shane has talked, at least made reference to the wanting to bring back more explosive plays and, mm -hmm. and throw aggressively. That sounds like that's your game. Yeah. Um, have you gotten that sense, and, and do you think you're a good fit in what they want to do? Yeah, definitely. I think we, we definitely want to be able to stretch the field vertically, uh, create explosives on offense, especially in the passing game. Um, you know, that's something I think you know that that reflects my game. That's I think what my strengths are. As a receiver, so you know, I really hope to be that guy in the offense. What's been your first impression of Anthony Richardson so far? You know, he's super incredible athlete. Uh, you can just see, and, and the ball just the ball just flies off his hand. So it's gonna be exciting to see him develop and see what he can do. Take getting used to that sort of velocity at all? Um, not not that I've noticed so far. I mean, I'm sure we'll see. We'll probably catch something in these next couple of weeks and slant or something that comes in extra hot but you know everything's been pretty smooth so far. What is it like learning from Gardner Richard <clears throat> is his rap the offense and how he's kind of relayed that message to you all over since that game? Yeah it's been great having Gardner here uh, you know just being uh, being in the offense for the last year he really kind of understands what's going on he's been a great leader for the offense and a guy that's kind of really rallied the team so I'm excited to play with him too. Was there anything you took away from your rookie season that's like this is Obviously, you want to improve everything. This yeah. is the thing I need to improve most. Yeah, I think I definitely needed to um, work more on my, my route running the top of routes, uh, creating separation. And then another thing, too, is just kind of taking care of my body. Um, it's a long it's a long season, and just being able to, you know, kind of stay strong and keep playing your best ball towards the end of the year and not, you know, let your body kind of deteriorate. you got to really be on top of that. Did you feel that as the season went along last year? Um. I, I don't know if I've necessarily felt it, but I think looking back on the film, I feel like I, lo I looked like I was a little bit, um, like just I just wasn't moving as good as I was early in the season. And whether that just be, you know, the, uh, lots of long days adding up, you know, lots of practices, all that. So I think I need to, I've been working on creating a routine, you know, and trying to stay on top of that for my body. You mentioned, you know, creating that separation, you know, with your, your routes. Uh, I imagine in college, the speed goes along the way, right? Is the, is the speed a little more of a, a leveling, level playing field here? Yeah. Is that why you have to be more technical, maybe? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, everyone can run. They can not just be able to run, run right by the cornerback. Um, so the biggest thing for me is just being able to, like, use speed and deception and stuff like that and be able to be clean with your feet, really work on footwork. Uh, and that just comes from just drilling it and individual periods, stuff like that. So just got to get back on that. Reggie was a Reggie was a technician. He yeah. Played. They, yeah. Have, you, have you gotten that vibe from him? And oh yeah. Let's harp on that a lot. Yeah. Well, no, we saw we even saw a clip today of him running a curl route. But yeah, just he was super efficient at the top of the breaks, and you know the less amount of steps or at least amount of steps you can use, um, just going to be more efficient. So, like, just trying to get those steps down from whether it be four steps to going to three, and just keep dropping that number. He still shows you his clips on how to do things. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't even him that showed it. It was. Uh, it was either OC or head coach. They pull up some uh, some clips. Yeah. He, he, you've talked about the transition from year one to year two, mm -hmm. the comfort level, I guess. He talked about that he can see it. Yeah. Of course, he said you came in year one with your marine haircut. <laughs> I kind of thought you'd have hair down to your shoulders today. Yeah, no, I just got a haircut. Yeah. <laughs> but but that, that, I mean, you, you do small. feel is the word comfort? Is that what it is? To, and can you look back last year to where you weren't? feeling comfortable because of a lot of things? Um, yeah, definitely a comfortability factor. You know, I think that might just be me as a person. It, it just takes a little bit 
time for me to get comfortable with things. And I think, you know, I know all the people in the building now. I know you walk down the hall and, and see like the maintenance people, the uh, cafeteria workers, I know people's names now and stuff. So it, it just feels a lot more like home and just like a lot more comfortable in that, in that aspect. Shouldn't that transfer to the field in some aspect? I agree, I think it, I think it will transfer to the field too, yeah. Should I mention the, the joint practices this fall with uh, Chicago and Philly? As players, do you guys like that? What kind of difference did those make? Yeah, no, I'm super excited about that. You know, I, I know some uh, know some people on, you know, I have my college teammate just got drafted to Chicago, um, wide receiver, so I'm gonna be excited to see him out there. Um, but yeah, no, it's, it, those joint practices are great. Um, they good opportunity for you to go out there and compete and see different looks too. Cause you know, like our defense, like we were, we run a little bit different kind of coverages than other teams will run. So it's good to go out there and test your plays against other defenses cause they run different things. It was a tangible difference last year with Detroit. Like, did you feel like this, the difference in maybe speed or anything like that? Um, I mean, it, at the, they're all NFL players. So, you know, the speed's the same, but I'd say it was different. And just like, well, one, it's a fresh look. They don't know all our plays. Like, you get into like week four, week five of camp, uh, the defense, they, they can tell by where you're lining up, like, what, uh, what play you're going to run. Like, the real, you know, veterans and smart guys. So, it's definitely, it's definitely like enjoyable to go out there against a fresh team who hasn't been studying you for the past six weeks and just be able to kind of get them with more deception than they're used to. Now, like, what did your offseason look like? Like, how did you plan it out? Did you ask anyone, like, okay, not train for combat anymore. Like, what do I do to yeah. myself in year two? Yeah, I kind of just stuck with the people I had worked out with in the past, um, and just you know, just followed with their plan. They they work out a lot of NFL players, so they kind of have a generic plan. And then I had things on my own that I wanted to work on that I was working on on my own. You know, what did it mean to have? Because it wasn't here the bridge when it was going to be back mm -hmm. this season. So when yeah. it was announced to be back, what was your reaction to that? And how much do you think? Your bond with him to grow over the Yeah, I was thrilled. You know, I, I think I saw it on, on Twitter or Instagram or something first, but, you know, I wasn't sure. It was kind of up in the air whether he was going to be back or not. Um, and we were all happy, super thrilled when he when they, when they we saw that announcement. So it's good to have him back. And I think, like you said, just that comfortability. Um, like, I think we, he, he knows he can say whatever to me uh, coaching-wise. And, you know, I can go to him with questions. It's, it's like an open door. So. I'm just excited to have him and being able to learn from him. Here's what the dynamic is like between you and Josh, where he's, Josh Downs is in the same spot you were in a year ago. Yeah. So, like, are you, you know, you able to, like, help him out a little bit or any advice, like, to, to kind of go through his rookie year? Yeah, no, for sure. He, um, like, from what I've seen, he seems like a smart kid and he's going to pick things up. So, um, yeah, definitely that's, that's what I'd tell him is just first, like, just get on the playbook and make sure you're really try to be as comfortable with it as you can going into the training camp because it, it hits you fast you know it's going to be those days like out there training camp and get the heat going and you want to be able to know where you're lining up and what route you're running so you don't have to be thinking about that and stressing about that you mentioned just kind of getting used to the grind the length of this <coughs> did you do anything different physically this offseason to prepare for that um not necessarily, no. I, I stuck to the same training programs that I did really last year for the combine minus the combine preparation. But yeah, just, you know, same weights, same schedule. That's Alec Pierce. He says he didn't do anything different with weights and that kind of thing. He looks thicker to me. He looks like he purposefully put on some extra weight. It wouldn't surprise me at all. An NFL season is a long one. And I think he learned that last year, and he needs a little bit more ballast to be able to kind of navigate through a full 17-game season. And I think he put on that ballast.